Copper Tubes, it's Tutor UK, channel update, pickups, road to the Mega Drive collection, the road to Blackpool, Blackpool two weeks today, fucking hell, soon approaching, fast approaching, and it's bloody warm, I'll tell you what, it's, what is it, the October 13th, fucking 28 degrees in here, I wouldn't normally bother doing this, but that is ridiculous this time of year, fucking hell, I only just shut the door, so yeah, it's uh, weird, stormy-esque weather. I mean, the wind's really picking up. Blow the gale! <laughs> no joke, that is. Um, but yeah, it's fucking really warm, really warm. Right, and shorts, walking the dog today. The dogs, even. Um, so I've got some pickups. I've got some pickups to share with you. Some absolute fucking balters. In the immortal words of uh, Woodlin, I forgot his name was in Woodlin, some Bobby Dazzlers. Right, Bobby Dazzlers. No football on this weekend either. Fucking international break. What a load of cunt that is. Mmm. Oh, God. So, my usual boot is closed anyway. Um, there's one big indoor one that's on tomorrow. Um, I'm 90 percent not going to go. Uh, Ryan's obviously offered, offered me a lift, uh, if, he, if he goes, that is, um, but I don't think I'm going to go anyway. Because I've spent some money today, not a lot, not a lot, not a lot, but I've spent some money, so um, yeah, I might ease off. And I've got Blackpool anyway coming up, so yeah, I need to uh, be very mindful of spendage. Right, um, a little bit of CEX, not a great deal, fucking hell, but some, um, again, other than one game, this is all Mega Drive. So we're plugging away at this set now. And uh, yeah, I, yeah, I'll probably be able to get it down to maybe sub 20 ish. And then it's fucking, you know, big time spends, big, big money, man, big money deals. Um, one game that I've managed to bag from Facebook group for a good price, it's not perfect. But the, the price that he, he charged me, I think was fair. I did sort of, uh, you have to haggle, you have to ask, don't you? Uh, and he was firm on his price. And to be honest, it's complete. So I'll always keep an eye out for an upgrade. From the, uh, the main man, Tom Batten, Galaxy Sega. And so this one, um, I don't think I've ever seen it on CEX. Price can fluctuate a little bit on the old uh, Flea of the Bay. What did this cost me? 43 or 42 pound, not 43 quid, something like that, let's say. And it is Wolverine Adamantium Rage. So I said it can be a little bit of a tricky one to pin down this. Um, so those eagle eyes may spot some defects. I mean, the manual, he was sort of talking about the manual. I mean, the manual's fine, the cartridge is fine. Yeah, I mean, even for a blue. Um, blue label it's not too bad and the manual's got some honest thumbs through it and stuff so what lets it down a little bit on this is if you can see there's two little puncture marks in the back so the case this was in so we recased it um, it looked like it sort of stood on it because it had a big crack right across the middle there so it, it kind of just opened up uh, and I guess that's where the impact was um, and it was really I mean really raggedy across the top there so I've kind of as best I can, just trimmed it off because I think it looks better. I mean, you can see a little bit here on the back where it's overhung a little bit, but the front bit was it was terrible. It, it I think that looks tidier. Some people, you know, probably go, oh, you shouldn't touch it. Um, but if I hadn't, it probably would have made it worse as well. So it's kind of like stopping that because at least the insert is actually too big for the case. It's lighter than the old one as well. And the old one was an official claim. This isn't uh, a proper claim one, actually. Even though this is blue spine, it wasn't in a blue spine box. I don't know if that's in the claim thing. I don't, you know, I'm not overly fussed regarding if something should be in the right case. Other than the blue spine ones, I do prefer them in these three and a quarter boxes. So I don't know why, but that's just the way it is. That's just the way it is. I'm not playing that tune. Mm. Took out my old indie t-shirt. For those that might not realise what that's from, Barnet College. Um, yeah, the side tangent cleared out all. It was a sad day. It was a sad day yesterday. Um, and a big sort through me. Uh, completely off tangent. Not that you need to know this, but this is where I managed to 
do feel like I even had this t-shirt. Um, yeah, I'm a bloke, I don't really, clothes don't really mean much to, too much to me to be honest. <laughs> and, um, it was getting to the point where I couldn't find stuff and I was just wearing the same stuff as well because they were going into the wardrobe and out of the wardrobe. Um, and when I looked through it all, it was like, that ain't going to fit me because I'm a fat bastard now, that's too small. And I just had to, I mean, it's five carry bags full of stuff. For a guy who hasn't got many, many clothes, that's that's a lot of clothes. So yeah, I just threw it all away. I just sort of said, look, I'm not going to wear it. I'm probably fucking never going to lose weight because I'm a fucking idiot. Uh, and by the time I do lose weight, well, chance I, if it takes that long, then, then clothes will probably come back in fashion. Uh, so I had a big massive blitz. But I did, dug this out and thought, well, I'm not going to throw it away. It kind of just about fits. Me big fat frame, um, but uh, yeah, and a few other t-shirts as well. But it was weird. When you look back, God, I used to wear fitting them jeans, and it's quite sad, really. Um, he says while well, drinking copious amounts of beer. Fuck it. Fuck it. Fuck a lot of them. Anyway, on the up, not on the down. We're on the up. Fuck it. I'm not long been out of the shower. I'm sorting this room out. Fucking sweat pissed out of me. Um, okay, we'll do this. No, that's eBay. We'll leave them. So doing that from Tom. So I always like to do the yeah, when I'm buying things, personal people or whatever. Then I tend to show them first. Um, these are from the shop, from a local indie shop today. Now I knew one of them was in there. Uh, I'd seen it in there. Oh, it looks like a <laughs> fucking hair gel on my head. It's not. It's just water. I don't wear hair gel. Um, yeah, so one of these games I knew was in there. Um, what did they have on it? They had 15 quid on it, right? And obviously I've been in discussions with Craig Craig here again. You know, he's banana box city. And he showed me a picture ages ago. And this game was in there. Um, and then he showed me a picture sometime after that. Sort of saying, oh, I've managed to sort these ones out. And when I've been going through the list, you know, sort of working out where I need to source what from. So I've got kind of like a CEX list of stuff that I can get from CEX and stuff that ain't on CEX, I've got to find it elsewhere. And um, this was there and I thought, oh, I'm sure I mentioned this to Craig when he showed me the, the big picture. And then when I checked the smaller picture that he said they sorted stuff out and it wasn't on there. So I did message him just in case he may have forgotten. He said, well, said I'm not sure on that one still, I might keep it. I said, mate, keep it. I said, I've nowhere I can get a copy from. Um, so obviously today I went in there. I've seen the game, I said, I can have a look at that one. And I just realised that this one was there. I, I, I don't know if it's one that just recently added or I completely missed it. I don't know. Um, oh, the price stickers fell off that one. I'll tell you what it is anyway. Um, so I managed the second one because the case was a bit manky. So I managed to get them to well, I swapped it. So I'll chuck us out. I think it was PJ Tour Golf. No, it wasn't PJ Tour Golf. Will Cast Leaderboard. So I swapped the case for that to a nice case. Um, and there's one problem with the other game that I was hoping to get from Craig but I might have an upgrade in the works for that um, so the pair of them they did me a deal on 22 quid so yeah spending spending real money here guys fuck me it's, it's a first for two days keep putting his hand in his pocket type bastard mm. right so ah itchy nose so the one that I was after, the one that went in there, not just in there, just for this, but I thought I'll, I'll get this today. God, I actually know. Is, um, and I'm not sure if this is one of only a handful of 32 med games. I've got it on the 32X, so some of you may or may not know, well, might not, because there's probably a few that are like that. Um, and I'm sure I've got this on the, if I've got it on the 32X, I got it from Blackpool, the first time I went to Blackpool for peanuts. I think it's ridiculous money now. Anyway, it is Tough Man Contest. On the mighty obviously it's Mega Drive, so 32 meg. I'm not sure there's many other 32 meg cartridges, I don't know. Answers down below. Fine people. So they had, there you go, 15 quid on it. It is complete. So, yeah, it is complete, but the only problem is the cart. Obviously, there must have been a label on it at some point and they've mulled it. So I sort of said to them, I said, oh, the cart, like this. They went away, did whatever, obviously Googled and checked, because to be honest, if they'd fucking Googled it properly for a complete one of these, it's 25 odd quid-ish. Depends, because auctions, they've gone for about what I paid for this. Um, so they had 15 on it, they charged you 12, so they're not three quid off. Um, but there's a couple of loose carts knocking about on eBay that I might try and snipe and just swap over. Um, 
because it's always the manual. It's always a manual that's missing. If you, you can, you, I think there's one that's uh, cart and box for like eight, seven, eight quid. But as soon as you chuck the manual in it, it's just, it just goes stupid. Um, so yeah, not one I've, I've actually ever played. It looks very much, um, as I say, block punch out, but it's not. There's another Sega game, wasn't there? Title Fight. Was that one of them? Title Fight where it had the wireframe. I mean, obviously Punch Out had that, but the Sega, I'm sure Sega had Title Fight. Um, yeah, so 12 on that. And then uh, the other one that I didn't realise was there. And again, this one, um, obviously CX don't care, so I was trying to source this from eBay. Um, and can be quite pricey yet again. It's a blue spine, it's not in the blue spine box, because I swapped it for world class leaderboard. Well, I don't think the box I swapped it for was a blue spine anyway. And it's um, NB Action 95 starring David Robinson. So, Sega Sports title. <laughs> honest enough, honest enough, it's not, um, it's not a Minta, it's not a, a Munta. Minta or Munta, you decide. Is it a Minta or is it a Munta? And it is complete. Complete. Uh, so, yeah. Yeah, I, mean, I can only go by what I can see on, on, on the old uh, Flea the Bay, but can be end up being quite a, uh, a sort of semi expensive game. And I said this before, you know, two sports games effectively here. Only eight a pound each. <laughs> That's where we're at. But um, yeah, like I said the guy, I think it's £21.99 all in, wasn't it? Worked out something like that. Yeah, it's 12 quid and 10 quid basically, 22 quid. Which, if you look at it, um, £10.50 a game. That's pretty good for them. Okay. Mm. So, another one. These two are eBay now. Two eBayers. Um, yeah, we'll do this one first. This comes from Spain. I do believe it's from Spain. Um, I've got the first one of Craig, he's missing the manual. I missed out on a bloody manual on, online. I should have should have bought it. But it's something daft like six quid and a couple of quid post. It ended up being like £10 for a manual, so it's a bit like... Um, but this one's on the list, obviously. It's uh, not... Doesn't, CX don't... I don't think CX carry it. I could be wrong. I've never seen it on there anyway. I doubt it'll appear. I think this might be um, a European... Yeah, it's in the, on the continent release, a power release. Uh, again, don't quote me on that. Can't. I don't see many. The, uh, I haven't seen this in out in the wild. Uh, absolutely, probably one of, if not the most expensive games on the Master System. It is the Smurfs, the Champs, Autour du Monde, which is the Smurfs travel the world. Um, Twenty. 23 quid I think delivered and it's it's in great condition it really is so I'm sure it's Spanish let's see these stickers I was gonna take them off before oh, no not really no point but inside and he got me sweetie look it's sweetie look um, but yeah inside great now this game, man. I was looking at it because I looked at sold listings and stuff like that. I seen this one there and I thought that's not a bad price. I looked at sold listings. Fucking hell, some people paid 75 quid for this. Some people paid 50 quid. I don't remember, really remember seeing any auction wise. There's one in the UK which is has no manual. I think that might be 20 quid. I can't remember now. Buy it now. Um, but it's something like 24 quid all in. And it come really quick as well. Come like within. I don't know, three or four days, so really good. Look, it's another one off, you know, I know I keep saying it's another one off the list, but you know, to find some of these more niche titles out in the wild, it might drop lucky, but I don't know. We've got Blackpool, end of the month. We'll see what vendors are there. I mean, you know, no one's daft anymore nowadays. The internet's, you know, made, made the world a lot smaller place. eBay, etc. Which which is where everything's priced against. I know that. Right. Um disc <laughs> I did a bit of a low ball. I don't usually low ball too much on eBay. I must yeah, I, I knock a couple of quid off um, and it's a fair price. 
And I can't remember why I lowballed it. There was, there was a reason though. It was it. I missed out on one. It was an auction. For one that sold it. Oh, I can't remember now. There's a reason why I lowballed it. Hmm. Oh, mm, no, it wasn't that. I was going to say it was on CEX. It is on CEX. <laughs> I think this is there. And it might be in Hull. So it hasn't got a manual. <laughs> That's a de facto. All the Hull and Ipswich means no manual, basically. It's code. Code for no manual. Um, I've seen Chris, CGM Retro. He sold his copy of this, which I think was in not as good condition as this one. I don't remember. Yeah, it wasn't. I think it had stickers on it. Um, I think the guy had. 65 on this I looked at what he was selling and it was he wasn't a gaming guy again it was just this and summer outs I can't remember now and I just stuck a bid in 50 quid and he accepted it so no I did have to swap the case over the case is what did the case do something to it oh that was right yeah so the case it had let me think it had a crack do you know at the top where the spine the two spines meet I'll show you in a minute but that was splitting, so that it, it, what usually happens when that splits, the actual inlay of the spine splits along with it, but this hadn't at that point. And also it had like a bit of a bub, uh, the, um, the, ins the front insert was bobbling a little bit. Anyway, it's virtual Bart. So I think many consider this the best or the better uh, Simpsons game. So let's face it, Bart versus the spa Space Mutants is not, not very good at all. Uh, it is, complete I'd say for 50 bones it's not bad honest manual say so it's an honest copy um, but yeah at the top here that sort of thin with that splits which it does does happen down there it tends to start ripping out the outside of the insert it didn't do that but when I opened the case you could feel it's not as uh, it hasn't got as much rigidity to it. it it was like wobbling a little bit so it was like yeah that's getting swapped straight away um, but yeah, I mean, 50, uh, yeah, it's 50 quid, 50 quid, but PayPal funds and, and all that. So, you know, happy with that. Really good buy. Right, on to the mighty, the one and only CEX or Kex, depending on which part of the country you come from. Yeah, bit of CEX in now. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. <sighs> we'll do the Mega Drive one first. We'll finish that one off. Um, I've seen this one on there before. Didn't have the funds at the time. It popped up again. It needs a case swap. Um, it is manualless, but it's paid with PayPal funds. So I, I think at the end it's probably cost me like three quid on top, I think, something like that. Um, there's a load of these were knocking about ages ago, and they're still on there. I did check eBay just in case there's a manual. There's a load of them that are brand new, still in the shrink wrappers. I think they're after in like 55, 60 quid. Yada yada yada. Which, if you think about what I paid for this, which I think was 45, but bearing in mind I've paid the vouchers, so it's the monetary value is a lot less than that. Um, so it needs a new case. I can live with that. Insert wise, cart wise, it's fine. So I can. It's got the blue label peel, get a bit of stick on that. But it is Exo Squad. It's another boost buy from my man Scott Brand. It's like a zombie. It's a bit of a fire sale again, Scott. <laughs> uh, we, we discussed that last week, but um, yeah, I never played this game, so I can't really comment. I'm not sure if that's just a sticker on the, it is on the actual thing, but it's on the blah, the blah code, it's on the blah, blah, the blah, 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 blah code. It's on the bar code. Um, but yeah, cart's okay. It's, it's starting to come up a little bit, see? So I'll get a bit of a, the old prick of the stick on that fucker. Um, but the case, which sometimes happens with these, it, I don't know what it is. They just seem to chip up and, and split, but it has got a little nick, which is the main reason why I want to get swap it out. Um, yeah. But so other than that, it's an honest enough, it's not. It's not fake oak, no. Not a reproduction or anything like that. I say, it's missing the manual, but for vouchers at 45 bones, I think that's still a pretty good deal. So all told, with them, there's nothing else left to come. I think it's Bart, that no, wasn't Bart, what was it? What was it waiting to, for, to, be, to be delivered? Remember I said last week, there's one being delivered. Oh, it was, it was, it was, 
Bart, was it Bart and Schmurfs? Yes, it was Bart and Schmurfs, because Bart should have come before, and then the Smurfs, I was expecting it to be like weeks and it come earlier than it was, which is why I didn't mention it in the, the last video. Right, dug deep man. So this game, I don't know if I mentioned it in the video before or not, I can't remember. I was speaking to uh, Cine Steve last night about this because I was um, I was all an hour in about it's 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 um, it holding its value not for me to, to, to obviously oh, I want to want to buy it on this it but I don't want to buy it at a high price when its value might decrease given what's happened to it if that makes sense um, and it's been out a couple of weeks now I think on the PlayStation Store. Hence why I was asking Steve, because Steve's a bit of a modern gamer as well, whereas I'm not. Uh, and I just sort of said, you know, do you think it's influenced the price? Blah, 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 blah. He said, nah, Matt, I think you'd be all right. Um, et cetera, et cetera. So I'd seen this in, in CEX weeks ago, and I actually had a look at it. Normally, the, given the price of this, they wouldn't let anybody look at these, uh, but they know me anyway. And I, I could see why it's boxed, and trust me, it's just cosmetic, which has now been fixed, been remedied. Um, and it was a pricey game, it's really expensive. Um, but so, what I've done, and some people might sort of say, Oh, I'm not sure you would, I wouldn't have done that, or not, I don't know. When I sort of put in the second lots of shelves there, and if, if you guys can recall, I had a bit of a call on the Wii and the DS. Because, um, you know, with the Wii, it was, it, I was just picking stuff up from the car boot, peanuts. Thank God it'd get added. But otherwise, it's all space. Because I wanted to put all the satin stuff, satins on that shelf there, all together and whatnot. And um, so I did a massive call on the Wii. Obviously, got some funds. I think probably bought Mega Drive games and whatever with it. You know, put it back into the collection essentially. Anyway, um, and that was fine. And then obviously, I, I, I don't know what it was. It was something just gnawing at me about this one here because I thought, given that it's only boxed, and I know the actual real condition is probably more like mint or near, mint as near as damn it. It's obviously worth more than what they're selling it for. It's just the cosmetic issue that's, that's devaluing it, for want of a better word. So, I mean, for ages I've been sort of running an around trying to think, well, can I, how can I accrue enough credit in one go to buy it? Because otherwise, with me, what I'll do, you know, if I went to a car boot and I made 70 quid or something in CEX credit, there'd be other Mega Drive games or in, you know, it, what's historically happened with me, I've walked into the shop and I've had some nice Super Nintendo games and it's gone on them. Whereas, you know, some of the people that are probably uh, less reactive than I am, <laughs> less impatient. Uh, fucking burns hole in my pocket. Would have probably held on to all the all the vouchers and then bought some at, or bought this game eventually, which I could have done. Um, so long story short, I've done another call of Wii and DS. That, that's all it is. It's just Wii and DS games. Um, two Pokemon games, and I looked at the prices on them. CX give me sixteen quid, I think. For each one and it was Pokemon White and Diamond because I kept Pearl so I've got Pearl and Soul Silver uh, so it's uh, Pokemon White and Pokemon Diamond now I looked on eBay sold listings and all that kind of shit because obviously I don't want to do myself out of anything and even there was they were selling even for less on auction or for there or thereabouts on bite now and you know you've got to pack it up you've got to post it postage cost etc etc so for near as damn it the same money which I would obviously the idea being is use the Wii and the DS as collateral to, to buy this game in whatever form that might take um, now obviously selling it on eBay could take weeks <laughs> you know and that, that might not be there in a couple of weeks it's been there for a while anyway because given the price and because it's boxed a lot of people are probably less likely to buy it because it's boxed with the view that it might not be complete um, in terms of what I paid for the, for the game, its military value is about just a little bit less than what it sells for on eBay, which is all complete and people can see it. So hence why people probably, for that price, if they're paying cash, you'd buy it from eBay because you can see what you're getting, right? That makes sense. So anyway, so where I'm looking at it is, even if I had, like, say if I traded in 20 DS games, right, to, to CEX and they'd give me, I don't know, 100 quid. Now, though, though um, 
20 DS games, if I sold them on eBay, they might give me 110 quid or 115, whatever it might be. But the chances are, again, you've got to sell them, right? You've got to sit on that money to accrue that, that kind of um, uh, amount of money to, to buy this game. So that's how, I don't know if, if this makes any sense to anybody. But that's how I look at it. I think if it's a couple of quid here or there between CEX and, and eBay, I'll just take it to CEX because the money, if I did sell it on eBay, would go, hopefully, would go to buy this, which isn't always the case because shit happens and you know you get sidetracked and it burns all in your pocket, doesn't it? So, anyway, I sorted out a load of Wii games and a load of DS games. There was nothing other than them two Pokemon games in any of that stuff that I traded that was like. Ooh, that might be a bit tasty. I'll show you one game I did keep behind as well from the Wii. Just give, give you an example. Um, I traded in three copies of Mario Kart Wii. So I had one cart, one uh, box on the Wii. I've got the one that I got from the car boot the other week, well, a couple of weeks back now. That's in the box there, which is in better condition than the other box I had on the shelves. So it actually paid off for me to sort of through it all. So there's one loose Mario Kart Wii, two box with the the wheels. Now I just give them the boxes because I couldn't be fucking asked. Get rid of them. Um, and you know, I think they were the most expensive games at ten pound. A lot of them were just six quid, four quid, five quid, three quid. Same with the DS. Other than the, the Pokemon games, the two Pokemon games, there was nothing else. So what I've kept from the Wii, the one that I did kept, kept keep from the Wii, is this one here. And I'll probably just eBay it unless someone wants to make me an offer on this. I doubt it. Um, it can be quite expensive. It has got everything it says on the front. It's Yu-Gi-Oh! Master of the... 5DS Master of the Cards. Um, I'd say mine has literally got everything in it. So, I looked at that and I thought, no, you're better off, in this instance, you're better, I'm better off at eBay. I mean, one of them sold for 50 quid. And I don't think it's even as good condition or as complete as that. So, do you see, that's 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 my logic. If, if I look on eBay and it's, it's the sold listings are about the same, as what you're going to get from CX and I'll just CX it. it less hassle I've got the credit I'm not going to spend it anywhere else or you ain't got cash or whatever or PayPal money spend anywhere else it will go and it kind of forces my hand a little bit um, I kept back Soul, Pokemon Soul Silver I think they off, they would give me 30 quid for it trading whereas I think it goes for about 50 on eBay so that, that 20 quid what I'll do I'll sell Soul Silver and I'll you know hopefully I'll sell it anyway and the difference I've had to pay towards this game I'll get that back, I'll recoup it. So the same the same collective amount of games is still buying this game. Just I'm having to split it across to get the best value for what I've got. If that makes yeah, you know, hopefully that makes sense now. A lot of waffle for a game, I know. But I say the Wii the DS stuff now is on like half a shelf. And um the Wii stuff's just the the, the cream. The better, the better games or the games that the, the kills will play. Like Mario Parties and stuff like that. So, after all that bullshit fucking waffle, I have the mighty. And then some people again might say, but Stu, I thought you were going for a full Mega Drive set. Why have you bought that and used all that money? Because it's one game that's really bugged me and, and I don't know why. I, it's a, an itch I need to scratch. So we've got the mighty Castlevania Symphony of the Night. Limited edition. <laughs> um, the chat I had with Cine Steve. I was like, because CEX have got this. If this is mint or this is th this copy, they sell it for £380. The one that they've got that this was listed against, which is 185 so this is 185 quid, is the single case. There is, there is actually just a normal single case edition of this. Which I speak to Cine Steve, that's, that seems to be more rarer than this, which is really odd. Um, but honestly, guys, I'll tell you what was wrong with this. So you can see here, uh, it is in fantastic condition. It's got the, uh, the soundtrack, the booklet. The booklet's even got the, the wrap around it. And the reason why it's boxed is because the spindles on these were all smashed. The actual outer cases were cracked. So the disc wouldn't sit in the holders. That is all that was wrong with it. I don't know if you can, you can even see that. There's nothing wrong with that disc at all. You can't see it because it always reflects like a motherfucker. I've never played this game. And I never will. 
I'm joking. I will put it on. Um, but yeah, I say I've got 140, 148 quid credit. So I put 36 quid or whatever it was to this. So it's cost me 36 pound cash. I'm pretty sure between Yu-Gi-Oh and the, and obviously Pokemon um, Pearl. Is it Pearl? Yeah, Pokemon Pearl and Soul Silver. I can get 30 pound back. So that's how I looked. So you see what I mean. So for all those games that I was willing to part with, um, bulk of it was CX hundred and enough hundred fifty odd quid or whatever. And then I've got them other three games there which I can spin out that will accrue it as a thirty pound game. So that same group of games has basically would have bought me this. Now obviously it's not, not doesn't mean to say this has cost me only thirty quid because obviously I've had to buy all them Wii DS and whatever get you know how much ever it was. I mean I don't know if you worked it back out. You know, in terms of actual outlay, military outlay, maybe 50 quid. If I, if I went back, if I was really that fucking anal about it, I could probably go back to all my videos and work out, get the, get the, the receipt, and work out what how much I paid for each game from the car boot or charity shop and work it out that way. I don't know. I haven't got the receipt there. I don't know how many games it was. It wasn't a load of games either. It wasn't like a big fucking big pile. Um, there was definitely more DS than there was Wii, um, but yeah, it's uh, that's how that's how I use CX basically. So happy to get that. That's a fucking keeper, man. Because <laughs> well, there's a guy in there that I, that I know, and he's like, "Bro, no, dig a deep for that one." I said, "Well, this is all the other stuff that I didn't want calling from my collection." So that's you know that's something I've been after. And even the, the manager who knows me goes, "Yeah, you've you've been eyeballing that for a while, Stuart, haven't you?" I said, "Yeah." Because I said I'd seen the disc, so I knew it was basically mint, just less the actual the spindles, the teeth had fell out. Yep. Yeah. So really happy. I must admit, really happy with that. You watch now, because that's released on the PlayStation Store, hasn't it? Which is what I was referring to. Because um, that sometimes can happen. Sometimes they value it. Sometimes it can increase the value because people want want the original. You know. Um, so I was a little bit like, I'm not sure. Not sure how, this, how, the, how, it, how the dice are going to fall on that one, but 37 quid out of my pocket at the minute for a load of D, DS games and Wii games. That so the DS stuff was it was stuff like New Zealand Story Revolution, um, Puzzle Bobble, Tetris DS. You know, all right, nice games, but I wasn't going to have going to play them. You know, and the thing with that kind of stuff, the way I looked at it as well, the Wii and the DS stuff, they're more. I'm more likely to come across, if there's anything I, that I did miss and think, oh fuck, I want that back again, I'll come across that again. And I said, Dad, duplicates, I had a Kami twice, I mean, Kami wasn't much money anyway, but it's little things like that, and it's taken space up, so I've made, I've freed up some space on that shelf there, which is where the Wii games will be behind, um, for the Mega Drive title. So it's a win win in some respects, um, calling the stuff off to get some, you know, some AAA titles. That's it for the pickups. So what day are we on? Saturday the, th the 13th. So two weeks now till Blackpool. Um, off the back of the last video, the Northern Tubers are gonna be in attendance. So I think we've got Gruss, we've got Lee. Lee's in the video, I've got to watch Lee's video later. Uh, Addy Sneaker Freak. Uh, I said Gruss, didn't I, Lee? Um, not sure about Daddy C, he'll probably turn up. Um, not sure about Matt, but I said the guys said they're coming, so that's good. Um, who else is coming? There's another guy, Chris, Christopher. I can't remember what his YouTube name is. He puts his weird like number eight or something in there. So I'm hopefully going to get a game off him. It'll be there. Um, Bearded Manchild is coming on a Saturday. Craig, another Craig. Um, fuck, I'm going to forget some people now. And I did sort of, I should have wrote it down. I was that in a much of a fucking hurry. Um, I can't remember now. Scott. Scott is coming. Scott's game asylum. I'm getting some two games off Scott. So he's coming on the fun bus, the free bus, the f mega free fun bus, I think. I'm assuming anyway. So good nice to see Scott. Um, yeah, so if anyone's interested, I'm not, I don't know why I'm saying this because probably Scott will do it anyway. But he's got some tasty Saturn titles for them that might be interested. I did sort of say to him, you know, I've got that one, got that one. Because um, obviously I've got the full PAL set. These are all Japanese ones. I said, them two I don't have. Doing me a great deal on them too, so that's in the bag anyway. 
Um, yeah, uh, I think a lot of people just sort of say, yeah, I'm definitely coming. I don't think there's anybody new. Retroheads aren't coming. Chris and Gav. Um, trying to think anybody actually said they were coming that wasn't sure of before. Mm, I think there's a few people still on the fence. I think that's, that's the main, you know, um, Gordon Bennett. Zoe from the Game Hammer, I think she was like on an iron about work. I, th I think a lot of people may just come if they come, they'll come on Saturday and it'll be like a spur of the moment, last minute thing. Um, but yeah, if you are changing your mind or whatever, probably, I don't know, again, like I said last week, there may not be a video next week. Um, it just depends what goes on. Um, i say it's just more circumstance that I managed to sort of pick these few bits up here, to be honest. Um, but we are planning a live stream next Friday or Saturday, uh, taking retro liberties. Uh, hopefully, be less controversial this week. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but yeah, it'll probably be like titles something like "The Road to Blackpool" or words to that effect. Anyway, so if you say if you are, if you if you were going, no, if you weren't sure you were going and you are going now, if you leave a comment down below, I can always mention it then. Anyway, yeah, give you like a bit of a bit of a shout uh, on on the stream. So. Yeah, that's about it, guys. Um, I say, if I don't see you before, I'll see you at Blackpool. If not, take it easy. I'll speak to you soon. Bye-bye.